Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. Today we are tackling vertical lip lines. I have been working on a protocol for vertical lip lines for quite a while. I've been doing a bunch of research. We're back in my office because I have my computer right here because I want to share with you some specific studies, clinical studies. I'm going to link them in the description box that kind of support the protocol that I've come up with. I'm super excited about this, not only for you, but for myself. I am 45 years old, I'm gonna be 46 in November, and I am starting to notice lip lines. It is an issue that bothers me as well, but here's the deal. This video is not just for those of you who are bothered by your lip lines. This video is for any of you in your 30s. Any, anywhere beyond 30, you should be thinking about lip lines because trust me, they will happen. We have this mouth that moves all the time, so it's inevitable that we're gonna get some lines around our mouth, but we can definitely do things to prevent and push out the occurrence of vertical lip lines. So this is a great preventative protocol, but this is fantastic, you guys. If you have existing lip lines, all the way from what I'm experiencing, which is some lip lines around my mouth, to you have some lip lines that you really want to address. I really think that this protocol spans everybody. So let's get right into it. Here is what you are going to need. You're gonna need a needling device. That can be a pen, a roller, or a stamp. It doesn't have to be a pen. It can be any of those devices. The majority of the time during this protocol, we're gonna set our pen at about 0.20. So you're gonna want a 0 0.20 roller, you're gonna want a 0 0.20 stamp, any of those will work. The important thing is gonna be the topicals that we're using and the frequency that we're needling. Once a month, we are gonna dial it up. So you're gonna need a roller, if you're using a roller, you're gonna need a roller that's a little bit deeper, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and we will dial up our pen one time a month. I am gonna demo this for you guys today and I'm gonna break it all down. It's gonna be in the description box, written down exactly what I'm gonna do. And if you wanna follow this protocol along with me, I've already started doing it and I'm already feeling really good about it. So I'm excited to share it with you. So I know that there are some of you that are gonna to wanna to talk science and actual scientific studies and all of the big why questions. So throughout this video, I'm going to have cutaways that are examples of clinical studies that are, for example, controlled, double blind, that kind of stuff so that you can pause the video and read those specific studies in reference to not only retinaldehyde, but also vitamin C and even tranexamic acid. I'm gonna have links to those specific studies in the description box. If you're nerdy like me and you're interested in the science behind the protocol. So I won't bore you with talking through the studies, but if you're interested, just hit pause or go to the link in the description box and check out the studies for yourself. And happy nerding out along with me. Now back to your regular programming. Okay, so needling device is one thing that you're going to need. You're gonna need some needling serum. Now I will tell you that you can definitely use your high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. That will work just fine. And that is definitely what we're going to use when we do the met one time medical needling once a month in this protocol. The rest of the month you have a little bit more leeway on your needling serum because we're going so shallow. Now what I'm going to be using you guys is this serum by Tranex Deer Skin. It's by Deer called Tranex. Now this is 5% tranexamic acid and it has some stellar ingredients in here you guys. It has kojic acid, it has niacinamide, it also has licorice, it has glycerin. It's got some really fantastic ingredients in here. Some of you might experience melasma on your top lip and this is fantastic for that. Tranexamic acid, you guys, the more and more I research it, the more excited I am about it. And I think that this could kill two birds with one stone if you happen to experience melasma on your upper lip and you also have the vertical lip lines. This is a great serum to cosmetically needle in. But as always, I love my Cos de Baja High Molecular Weight Hyaluronic Acid. That one will be listed in the description box as well because that's a great option for all of these needling sessions. Okay, the other things that you're going to need is a retinaldehyde that is a vitamin A derivative. You need that retinaldehyde, not retinol and not retin A, but retinaldehyde. And then you're also gonna need a vitamin C and E. And it's important that there's the vitamin E in there because studies are showing that retinaldehyde combined specifically with the vitamin E shows a greater 
uh, collagen and elastin and thickening of the dermis, that kind of stuff, than retinaldehyde all by itself. So we definitely want that antioxidant vitamin C and that fantastic antioxidant vitamin E. Okay, so I wanna tell you that the retinaldehyde that I'm gonna use, you guys, is going to be my Renew number four from Osmosis. I've already used this one. I really like it. I think it's fantastic. I'm going to list some options that are affordable in the description box along with this one. As always, you guys can get this at Skin Beautiful RX. I still have a 20% off code when you use my name plus the 20. I'll put that in the description box. Um, so you can definitely get this at a discount. It's still expensive. So I'm going to list some other options that are retinaldehyde that you can use in this protocol. Then as far as my vitamin C, you guys, I have a sample of the uh, SkinCeuticals uh, CE Ferulic. I have a few samples of this because the rep came into our office and gave us a presentation and that kind of stuff. So I got a few of these. I'm gonna be testing this one out. I'm definitely gonna link some vitamin C E uh, alternatives in the description box because this one is super expensive, but I have it, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, three times a week, we are gonna cosmetically needle around our mouth. So I'm gonna set up my pen, and I'm gonna show you how I needle around my mouth and exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've got my pen set up, you guys, and I have it set. This pen goes from zero to 0.25, so I have it set just below 0.25. 0.25 is okay as well. I have the 12 pin cartridge on it. This is the Dr. Pen X5. Now I could choose any of my Dr. Pens. The A6 would work just fine, and my A7 would work just fine. I just like this one, it was charged up, so that's the one I grabbed today. Now I am going to put my Tranex on around my mouth. Listen, my face has been double cleansed. I have nothing on my skin. I don't even have moisturizer, nothing. I've double cleansed. Obviously I have on eye makeup and I do have my eyebrows because I didn't feel like scaring you, but um, I've put nothing on my lips or my face. So I'm going to get this on. It has great slip and then I'm gonna needle and I will show you exactly what I do. So it comes out and it's like this. And I'm gonna drop it. And I didn't even touch my face with the applicator, you guys. I'm gonna turn this on by holding it down. And then I'm gonna bump it up to four or five as far as the speed, because I like the faster speed. So many of you guys have asked about that. I feel like you get less drag if you go at a faster speed. I'm gonna hold your lip tight. It's important, especially if you already have lines, we need to stretch them out. I'm gonna do that, okay? totally tolerable, okay? Now I'm gonna get in the corners with that same serum, not touching my face. See how I'm stretching my skin? Going over here. Now, I have a particular middle line that bothers me. I'm just gonna hit that a touch more. And that's it, because I'm doing this three times a week, I'm not looking to get really, really irritated with my skin. Now I am gonna do underneath my bottom lip because I want to. I'm gonna take some of that serum around and use it. It's such a little tiny area. The important thing is to stretch your skin tight. Now if you feel any drag, you guys, you need to add more serum, but I am able to get it around there. And this redness and stuff, you guys, it'll, it'll subside. So that is the microneedling session. That's it. That's as, as fast as it was. 
And that's why I'm comfortable saying, hey, let's do this three times a week. That is how fast it is. I, and I'm gonna speed this up so that you guys can see it's a very short amount of time to do all around your lip. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna wait 15 minutes. And the reason why I'm waiting 15 minutes is in my needling serum of choice, there are some things that might adjust the pH of my skin a little bit, that kind of thing. So I just wanna wait about 15 minutes, give my skin a chance to kind of readjust its pH. The channels should still be open and I'm going to then apply my retinaldehyde. So I'll be back in 15 okay, minutes. Okay guys, so I am going to put on my Renew. You don't need a lot of this because we're just putting it around our mouth. So here's the Renew. Clean hands. So you can see why I wanna do this at night, right? So this is gonna be three nights a week. If you wanna do this every other night, I think that that's okay too. It's such a shallow microneedling. The idea is that is product penetration. We are getting these actives in farther. And because we're using retinaldehyde, which is less irritating, I'm comfortable saying, yeah, let's put this in with cosmetic needling. I think we're gonna get some great results. Okay, now that is it. I know that some of you guys are gonna ask me how you incorporate this into your regular routine. What I'm gonna tell you is what I am doing is I'm doing all of this a little while before bedtime so that by the time I get to when I'm gonna to go to bed, I can just do the rest of my face however I wanna do the rest of my face. If you are an hour or two away from bedtime when you do this, you can just go ahead and do the rest of your skincare routine, however you do it, and not worry about this. But this is the specific lip treatment that we're going to do three nights a week. Now, what I'm gonna do tomorrow morning is I'm gonna apply my vitamin C. Now, for me, like I said, it's gonna be the CE Ferulic. Now, I am not somebody who can use vitamin C every single day all over my face. It just doesn't work for me. So this one is only gonna be on the mornings after I have this needling session. So if you're somebody like me, just use it on the mornings after. If you're somebody who absolutely does not wanna use vitamin C in the morning, you can wait another 15, 30 minutes after you put your retinaldehyde on and go ahead and go in with your vitamin C and get it all done three nights a week. And then in the morning, you just do your normal morning routine. Now, what is super crucial, as always, you guys, is that you wear sun protection. So every single day, we're definitely protecting our skin from the sun because some of the damage that happens and that causes these vertical lip lines is UV damage, of course. Mm -hmm. One time a month, we're gonna do what I just did, only we're gonna bump up those needles to a 0.5 or a 0.75, and we're gonna go back to using our high molecular weight hyaluronic acid only. We're not gonna follow it with anything after. We're not gonna follow it with the retinaldehyde, nothing. The next morning, you're going to use your vitamin C. You're gonna wait three days, and you're gonna start the month over with your every three days cosmetic needling around your lips with this protocol. So hopefully that makes sense calendar wise. That's what I'm gonna do you guys. And I'm super excited about it. I've really, I've done a ton, ton of studying and I have high hopes for some great results around my mouth with the use of all of these things. So let me know in the comment section, you guys, if you plan on trying this with me, if this makes sense to you. And I definitely hope that some of you will check out some of these studies, that you will visit some of these websites and you know look at what I'm looking at so that maybe you can understand and better. Uh, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Happy needling. Let's get rid of these lip lines. That's what I wanna do. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Take care.